by the time I get to North Dakota, it was storming, but I have not seen anything like this. This was just insane. Look, it's freezing outside. I'll tell you everything when I see you. Where are you now? I'm on my way to the bus stop. All my actors were absolutely amazing, and we had gone through four months of rehearsals. Myself and Barb went through the script so many times, and we're like, okay, great, we have everything in place. Once all of that was done, the schedule for the shoot was created. So we had like 31 days that we were gonna film in North Dakota. Great, everything is prepared, schedule is done. We get all the tickets for our actors, you get to North Dakota, and Alex was going first. And then after that comes Lydia two days later, and then after that comes Megan, and after that comes Mike, who, who's playing Miles, and we were gonna go do 10 days here, or five days there, and then they were gonna fly back as, as they were done. Ashley, our line producer, helps me set up and whatnot. The next day, I go with her and Paul, our line producer as well, and an actor, uh, to the location. I get to the location and it snows again and it's crazy snow and I'm talking about snow, I'm talking about four or five feet of snow on that road. It's impossible to go through. So we decided to change the location. All our locations changed and if you plan on filming in harsh weather conditions, don't expect anything because where I had planned and I had shown my actors and we had rehearsed and everything went out the door. Scene 23, Becky, take two. When you're planning a winter film, plan for screw-ups to happen. Sorry, we'll take it from the top again, I shook. If you want to be in control, rehearse, give them enough information so they know it and they can perform. So that kind of is out of your mind as a director. And then when you're there, you got to roll with the punches. Prepare, prepare, prepare and prepare. Surround yourself with people that will back you no matter what. That's a bad